to my show having two food dogs. I'm Elizabeth Marsh and I'm with Delta Rose. Delta Rose, baby, how you doing? This is Spencer Crash, our lead singer, and I'm Stephen Halsey, the rock of Come on, boom boom. Not just because of his, not because of his bathroom habits either. That was how it started, but now it's because of his bass playing. Awesome. They call me the King, or I'm, I'm uh, King Crash. I'm self-proclaimed King, but still proclaimed. So it's up to you. I don't want to play that one. <laughs> so what are your biggest influences? Biggest influences has got to be the old school rock and the blues. You know, taking something that was, you know, rock and roll will never die. Neil Young said it. Someone's got to carry the flag. Doesn't mean you have. To to reinvent the wheel, but it doesn't mean you, that you want to do the same cookie cutter rock and roll. We're here to put a new kick in the stomach to rock and roll, and that's someone needs to do it. You know, someone stay true to the blues a little bit and uh, keep it fun. We're not trying to solve any problems in the world. Maybe start a couple is, is more our style, I guess. And uh, keep it fun. You know, life's too short to to not be freaking pumped up to be alive. So that's what we're all about. And sex, sex, and Delta Rose is our motto for a reason. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll was already taken. She's in the video. Look at her. Oh, well, I get to hit it's the cool. Camera. Favorite song ever written? Favorite song ever written? That's a that's a that's a hard one. Huh? Really tough. One. I guess you gotta go. I, you know, the easiest way to do that would be to do something I guess kind of recent that's really been getting our rocks off. Uh, I gotta go, bitch, by the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Have you ever heard that song? No, it's a bitch. Okay, I thought that I thought that message is pretty universal. Love is a bitch. What do you think? Yeah, sometimes. yeah, sometimes. Depends. Yeah. Speaking of depends, guess what he's wearing? All right. So how about goals for the band? Goals for the band. Personal goals is each of us want to have our own Harley Davidson motorcycle. That, that's a small goal. But of course, we want to we want to start uh, touring and never stop. To put out more records. We got a we got a new CD coming out when we get off the world tour. Uh, we dropped a new single yesterday. We dropped a new single yesterday. Problems at home. It's on iTunes right now. Uh, you know what we're also hoping to do? We're hoping to get a TV show. We've, we've been talking to a couple people, uh, trying to get a trying to get a slot on MTV. It works right now. Something that, that can, because uh, you know, we, we take our music very seriously, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. And I think that's kind of a cool, cool thing to do, because you know, someone that thinks they're too cool is usually not, you know. Yeah. So we like to make fun of ourselves, but at the same time, we like to, to, you know, take our music seriously and rock it to the next level every time. So what are we? What is our goal as a band? To take rock and rolls right here, right now, and we're gonna take it to here, or maybe there. Back to the mainstream, I gotta say. Mainstream? Yeah. Dude. I guess, yeah, that's actually cool. I mean, it, uh, you wanna bring it back. You wanna. You're talking uh, dollar bills, though, dude. Dollar bills. I, it Nothing wrong with dollar bills, I just never had it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's one dollar bill. Yeah. He, he just sold two cigarettes. Well, I mean, I got a wallet. I, I just, you know, people ask me, why do you even carry a wallet? I say, because I got pictures of my family. And they say, no, you don't. And I, Crash, walk away. Whatever. <laughs> I'm a survivor. Stand up against bullying. You heard it here. Delta Rose. Stand up against bullying. Right? <laughs> I don't like bullies, especially when they're bullying me and they're bullies picking on. Wipes. You know what I mean? They come up and they're like, "Hey, what's up, stupid white trash singer? You suck dick!" And I'm all like, "Dude, that's not very polite, man." And I get my feelings hurt, but then I come back at him the next day. Rocking a song like that fucking piece of shit that had a smaller dick than me, gonna talk shit, you know, keeping it busy and stuff like that. We write songs, we just, we, we it's a, uh, we take something in, like a sponge, and then we make it dirty, and we wring it out. Kind of like a washcloth. <laughs> kind of like a washcloth. <laughs> kind of like a washcloth, it makes things dirtier. So any crazy band stories you'd like to share? Try to think of the ones that are okay. Uh, well, you know what? One thing that's kind of funny recently is uh, our guitar player has been having uh, some kind of scary ladies stalking him lately. lately. And uh, you know, we don't discriminate or nothing, but uh, you know, lately they've been. Uh, I think they've been.
coming out of jail in the last few ones, like straight out, and they like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got these tattoos, and they've been following him. They're like, I don't know what the big deal is with him. He's avoiding me. I just want to suck face. Let's go back behind the van for a second. And we actually, uh, we've actually had to kind of sneak. It. It's, it's like we feel like the Beatles a little bit. We have to sneak him off the stage before these uh, like. 60-year-old jailbirds start freaking tearing him to pieces. Oh I, I had to stop drinking recently, uh, maybe about two years ago, so some of the band stories I don't really remember too well. But, uh, you know what I mean? I guess that's happened before, though. Now I'm remembering it. Any exciting announcements you'd like to make? Like I said, we're really hoping that uh, that this, uh, this MTV show that we've been working on is going to come through. We have our new problems at home that's already been released. We're doing this warp tour uh, all the way to Colorado for two weeks. Uh, oh, this is a competition we're having on Twitter right now. This is pretty exciting because uh, we just got an endorsement deal uh, from Epiphone Guitars. We're on their we're on their website doing the video blocks from uh, some silly. You know, like I said, we don't take ourselves too serious, but. Uh, uh, we're having a competition right now. If we get 15,000 followers on our Twitter, which is at Delta Rose Band, we're giving away a free Les Paul, which is a guitar. Good if someone asked me what a Les Paul was, I was like, <laughs> oh! It's a guitar. I missed the punch. They're lucky I missed the punch because I would have knocked them out. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. You know what sucks when you miss the punch? It hurts your elbow, like right now. Really late in that one. <laughs> I'd really like website. to stab a baby doll. Alrighty then. Can I do it for DeltaRoseUSA.com? Can, yeah, can we stab it? Hold on. You said Metallica stabbed that too? Black Male Bride stabbed that too? Thank you.